Okay, here I'm going to show how all the know and the data transfer to Excel works. But for now, I'm just going to show how the Sonic sensor works since that's where the data is being made. Now, in the serial monitor, it shows that there's a distance and a statement. If the distance is over 40, which is the safe zone in the colder, then it'll give the statement Joker is not in the room. This also verse works vice versa, so which I'll show later. Where if the distance is over 40, the green LED will light up, and in the if statement, it will show Joker is not in the room. While if it's the red LED that lights up, it will show the statement Joker is not in the room, but that's if the distance is lower than 40. And this can be shown in the serial monitor. And we're just using the serial monitor to show this. In any case, moving on to another part of the code, which is for the data transfer to Excel. This only works if certain pieces of the code is put in, like var1. It also works for var2 and var3, although they're only really for words that work. Now, onto the Excel seat, which is where the data transfer will be made. You need port 3 and speed 9600 because that's what's put into the code and Arduino. And we need the commands and parameters, but we're going to use my function because it doesn't need a parameter. And here, if we click this to put in data, but the data will be cleared. However, that's fine since we're starting out. Now, to get the data in, we're going to click in send and it will record the data. In other words, we got the actual time here based on what the computer has. And then the ID, which goes from 1 and upwards, where click and send. And it shows the send command is my function and var1. And then it's joking the room is the string statement. And it can change as you can see here from joker is not in the room to joker is in the room. This is happening because it's coming from Arduino in the first place. We're only sending the data into Excel. And this is necessary through a macro. Which, to start off with, the Excel sheet isn't mine. But I have edited pieces of the macro so that it works how I need it to. And I'm just gonna show you what you need by entering this wrongly because you definitely need a command and with other commands you need a parameter although it doesn't really affect the output of this statement or any other function you, if you're using any other command you'll still need them otherwise you're not going to really be able to make the data transfer which now I'm showing the correct version of it although the parameter you put in might not matter Although it's still necessary if you're using any command except my function. This is pretty much the data transfer at this point. You just need to keep clicking send. So this isn't really done automatically. Though it proves the data transfer does work and is possible. Now moving on to the macro. This is pretty much where the code starts. This shows the ports 1 to 4. The default is 2, but we're using 3, and the speed, and we got a different default, but we want 9600 because of the code. And then we have the commands, like it was shown in the menu. Anyway, I'm just going to talk about the main pieces of code which I edited. Also, at this point, what this is where you can add in data through the columns, which we're using as letters A to E. And then another piece edited is where you can also decide what data you want to edit. For here, it's time. Below is ID. And and for C is command, like we've shown up to now. And then for D and E, we're using prim, but prim can be used as... Um, represent for variant or the string so we can also use command or answer but prim also works we just have different possibilities we can go with as for why prim it was the number is different 
that's because of the number which contains based on if we're using one or two. Anyway, that's pretty much it with the macro. Okay, is this thing stopped? I'll try to get this done as soon as possible because I have another recording to do and if I could get this done that's a load off my back. Um, are you done with, uh, after we because I didn't know we were going to Tia's house again. Yeah. <laughs>